heroes and villains fight. Some are powerful and weak, but this time, what happens when the most powerful hero and the most powerful villain fought? They're not only powerful, but they're also bald. Saitama, the One Punch Man. And Thanos, the Mad Titan. I'm Westbian to see who would win the fight. In the One Punch Man series, there's lots of heroes. And there's a team member, like, can't remember what it's called, but the one most powerful hero of this team is Saitama. Name Saitama, the Cape, Cape Baldy, gender male, gender male, age 25, classification human, a class hero. Saitama is a human from Z City who fought righteous training, broke through his human limits. I just never, and he's never break a sweat. The name One Punch Man is a thing for like Saitama. Like guys, like he's never going beyond a simple brawl and share strength, speed, show, or exhaustion. Move down anyone in his way. He all well. He it well, well, He's called the One Punch Man for reasons. He has godlike power, unlimited energy, absolute strength, speed, reflex, senses, agility, experience, of flexibility. Endur endurance, mobility, mo dexterous, leap, Im Im immuni immunity, absolute insects, and has master hand to hand combat. And has wi lots of willpower. But he is not invincible. He does take anything seriously until he, and he to hold possible plunk. Saitama has no. True more martial arts trying. He is simple, just fight and possible envy. And he once got hurt by a regular cat and did not even kill a mosquito with his full strength and power. But still, he is good, but never mess with the one punch man. Titan, a planet. Well, with all sorts of people, and there's one guy, I cannot remember his name, but he did have a kid, but who? The, but this kid was the ruler of the universe, name, Thanos. Thanos, the mad titan, overmaster, gender male, thousands of years old, at least. But anyway, when he was born, his mother tried to kill him, but he didn't, but he, and when he was young, and like, he, did, he decided to do this because of a girl, but he's not bad. Thanos referred as the Dark Lord by most loyal of Mad Titan and Galaxy's Titan, who rolls over distant region of space and commands two massive armies known as the Culture and Outriders. As a god, he has vast comic powers, high intelligence, supreme in strength, non-invisibility, great stamina, great speed, great reflexes, immortality, telepathy, te and teleportation in and heart of the universe. But he is not invincible. His own movement speed limit cannot truly, f truly fly. Only lev only levelant. He sometimes like allows himself to lose. None, none needs to be possible for the infinite and gallant gems to order to maintain power. And however, he does not stop him accomplishing victory, victories per downfall. But still, he is. But he is still the powerfulest guy ever. Well, Alright, the fight is set. This video, will, this video, this fight will have no prep time, no outside help, and no home field advantages. Let the battle begin. Fight.
kick. Oh, hold on, sorry, this is like a commercial now. KO. That, wow, that was actually really a good fight. Anyway, Fa well, Saitama was a bit faster, but that's all they have against Fantas. Fantas was a much stronger, durable, and smarter, and has way experience, but, you see, or, like, Fantas, well, I mean, even though Fantas could just, even though he could snap him out of existence, Fantas could still win, even though, even though if he doesn't collect all of his, his many stones. For one reason, like, for never, for, like, a reason, he could, like, his many stones could keep Fantas, like, on his toes, can keep his, uh, on his toes, like, I don't know if you guys know what I mean, but, Fantas has, lo has lots of arsenal and with his infinity stones. And Fantas, I mean, Saitama cannot keep up. Even though if, even though the one punch could kill Thanos, Fantas has survived lots of stuff that should have killed him, like Thor's hammer. Well, looks like Saitama should have gone for the head. The winner is Thanos. Next time on Fiction Fighters.